Now I'm going to show you how to use the fluorescence microscope. So by the end uh, of the video, you will learn how to turn on and off properly the fluorescence lamp, how to select the uh, excitation wavelength, how to change the fluorescence intensity, and how to change the size of uh, the irradiated area in your sample. If you have a fluorescence sample and you want to use uh, the fluorescence mode, you first need to turn on the lamp, the fluorescence lamp, and you should leave it for 5-10 minutes to warm up so the fluorescence intensity will be the highest. So for that, you just uh, turn on here the power on. Uh, and then there is a shutter here uh, that for now is closed. And if you press, it's going to be open and the light here turns on. That means that light is now coming out of the fluorescence box to the optical fiber that goes to the sample. There are four different intensity uh, uh, position here that you can choose. Uh, then you need to choose which um, filter cube you want to use depending on the sample that you uh, want to see the fluorescence of. It's on this filter wheel and you have to choose the number, the position that you want uh, to have the correct filter cube. So these are written on the on here, these uh, positions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the excitation wavelength and emission cutoff. Uh, and then, uh, so uh, you need to open the shutter so that the light really goes to the sample. So you have to pull that out, and then you see the fluorescence going out to the sample. So um, you shouldn't look at this fluorescent beam uh, directly, because especially if you're in the dark, because your eye will be very open, and then uh, you will collect all the light intensity. So to pr protect your eyes, you can put this uh, filter that will prevent all the light uh, going through and going to your eyes. And then again, you would have to focus in your sample and on the software change the settings so that you can see nicely your sample. You can adjust again the intensity, uh, not just using the intensity on the uh, fluorescence lamp, but by using this uh, wheel here, you will get either 100% of the intensity or only 55, 33, 17 or 10%. And the top one will change the size of the irradiated area in uh, your sample. So you can irradiate only a small portion of your sample by choosing again the size you want to irradiate. When you're done using the fluorescence, you should check that the person after you uh, that is booked on the microscope, uh, whether he's using or not the fluorescence, and you can see that on the calendar because we write F if we're using the fluorescence when we book the microscope. And so if the person after you is using the fluorescence, you should leave the fluorescence lamp on, but you can turn off the bright field lamp this fluorescence lamp, if it has been turned off, has to stay half an hour off because before you can turn it on again, uh, because if not, it will damage the lamp to turn it on and off uh, very fast. So if someone is using it after you or half an hour after you, you should leave it on. And if no one is using it, you can turn it off. Okay. So this is how you um, turn on and off the lamp how you uh, change the, uh, filter, the filter cubes on the filter wheels, how you can adjust the intensity or the irradiated area on your sample to do uh, the fluorescence acquisition on the Leica microscope. Some general remarks to conclude. Um, don't forget uh, when you're using uh, the fluorescence lamp to leave it on if uh, someone else is using it after you, at least half an hour after you, uh, because you will need to uh, uh, leave it off for at least half an hour before you can turn it on again to avoid damaging the lamp. Don't forget also to use the shield, uh, the, 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 the red filter, to avoid uh, having any uh, eye contact with the fluorescence uh, beam light. That's important to, uh, uh, for safety reasons for your eyes. Uh, and so now you know all about uh, acquiring uh, fluorescence images on the Leica microscope. Um, so thanks for watching and work safely.